lot number 225 is a 2002 Ford F550 XL Hughes sewer inspection truck. This one has a V10 6.8 liter gas engine. It only has 4,900 original miles, very low miles. The motor sounds good. I'm gonna rev it up so you can hear it. I've had it running for almost an hour. It has not overheated. The motor sounds good and it idles real smooth. The automatic transmission engages and the AC blows cold, but this truck has no brakes. So I was unable to drive it and I suggest that you pick it up with a tow truck. It has absolutely no brakes. The paint is peeling and faded. Headlights are dull. Tires still look good. The interior on the truck appears to be in good shape. The door panels and dashboard look faded from the sun. Here are the miles. 4,900 miles. Very low miles. The seats look good. The headliner's nice. It's beginning to fall right there. The lens fell off the blinker on this side. The cab shows surface rust on the roof and around the passenger door, it's got a couple of rust spots right there. The box in the back appears to be in good shape and it comes with a lot of tools that were left in there or equipment rather the box is made by American Cargo I'm gonna start by showing you the generator I couldn't get it to do anything I think the power has been disabled to it but it's got very low hours 698 hours it's a Nissan motor Motors made by Nissan. All the details are in the pictures. Make sure you look at all the pictures. I tried to take pictures of all the model numbers and serial numbers of all the equipment. Again, the box is in really good shape. Shows no damage on the exterior. The doors are solid. And the interior appears to be dry. I didn't see any cameras left in here, but they did leave all of this equipment. All appears to be in good shape. The floor is solid, diamond plate floor. It's got a couple of water tanks over here. It's got one large water tank here that's still holding water. Built-in cabinet. Then it has the office, which has a nice door. And all the cabinets in here appear to be solid. All the woodwork appears to be good. And then here's the equipment. Some of it may be outdated. I don't know much about this equipment, but again, I took pictures of all the model numbers here. 
so you can look them up and and see what it is. It appears that something is missing here, and that may be the computer that's sitting out here. It has an access door here to get behind all of the equipment. And some stuff looks disconnected, but for the most part, it all appears to be complete. I know I know there's supposed to be some cameras that attach to these reels and I have not seen them so I assume they are not included what you see here is what you will get when you pick up the truck also has an access door for the office on the passenger side of the truck and that door is in good shape. I have it open for extra light. More cabinets here. This appears to be the paperwork for the generator. And a lot of uh, booklets here. A lot of information that will be useful for the buyer. All right, let me climb out of here and finish this video. Again, the box really appears to be in good condition. The doors are solid. Access door for the office. And there you have it. Let me show you, or let's look at the brakes together. Let's see. Brake pedal sinks all the way down no pressure at all it goes down faster than it comes up and yes it has zero brakes the emergency brakes work That is no way to drive this truck. This truck needs to be picked up with a tow truck. The battery is good, it starts right up. All right, there you have it. Make sure you look at all the pictures for model numbers and more information. It's lot number 225. It's a 2002 Ford F. 550 XL Q's truck with only 4,900 miles. Good luck.